Hey guys, MTG Noob here. I am bringing you a two-man queue with the green-red deck. I have somewhat of a slow hand, but I think it, excuse me, can develop over time and be quite explosive. Now the question is, do I want to play this on three or do I want to play it on four? I think I'm just going to play it now. I don't think it's ever right to not play it unless you're worried that they might have removal. Uh, especially if I rip another one and then I could bash face for more. Always for more, never for less. Okay, we will swing. He might just ultimate price this or up decay. I would think one or the other and then we're just gonna sit here and look sad. Our boar is going to be so sad. Okay, that's fine. I will not Pillar of Flames. Anything he does is this Grizzly Salvage. Okay, so he's going to take something. Let's see what he takes. I'm going to say okay. So it looks like we're playing against Jund. He might take Deathrite Shaman. He might take... I can't see him taking a Strangle Geist. Uh, it is a very good blocker. But I think he's taking Blood Crypt. I don't know, he took uh, he took a Rootbound Crag because it comes into play untapped. Fair enough, sir. Fair enough. What you got on three? Don't have anything sexy for me. Do not bring the sexiness that is this Borderland Ranger. What is this? What madness do you have? You need to tap red. Okay. This is a sprouting Thrynax. All right, that sucks for me, cause, eh, not great. But that's a good one. I know this Hellrider is gonna die, but I got nothing else to do. So, take some bunches. Maybe we could just ride this Hellrider out to victory. Victory formation. I just hope he doesn't start going like Huntmaster, Huntmaster, and Thrag Tusk and Stabilize. Is this dead? You can kill it. I'll be sad about it. Good news is I'm almost here. Ooh, Dread Mangler. Fair enough. And, and a Rancor. Well, okay, don't mind if I do. Oh, wow, you're racing me? You're so silly. You are silly. You're a silly boy. God, I really want to double pillar that. Okay, you're going to nine. Um, mortar is this? He must have another one. Pillar him to seven. Pass. Hope he doesn't have a rancor. Uh, excuse me, a thrag tusk. I think if he had a Thrag Tusk, I don't think he would be that aggressive. Don't have the Thrag Tusk. Just, just let me not have to fight against a Thrag Tusk for once in my life. Here comes an abrupt decay. That's fine by May. I think he's trying to draw into a Huntmaster, which would be pretty awful for us. He's got five cards. He's definitely got an interesting deck. I have not played against this deck in a while. Possibly once, I think. And I don't really know if it's a straight port of what I played against. Another Drag Mangler. Plus Rancor. I don't think he can bash me for five here. I'd like it. Please bash me. Okay. Wolf runs a good in. Question is we can swing six. Alright, I think we can go. I'm counting my mana on my screen. I'm actually physically touching my screen. Three. No, that will put him to one. All right, so we're gonna do that. Gonna say okay. And shoot him. 
Put him in a three, and then see what he comes up with. Could have pillared him there to one, but that would just be stupid. If we top deck a red source, we have uh, a lethal devil's play. We also have uh, wolf run, and if he doesn't kill my guy, pillar plus one damage from this is three. All right, that went very well for us. Um, so apparently against other mid-rangey decks, you bring in these. Tree looks like they can kill it. Uh, crushing Vines, I'm going to say no. Ground Seal, most likely he's got some scavenge stuff. I think Flint Hoof Boar is not amazing here since we want to become the mid-range deck. I think I want more Hunt Masters for becoming a mid-rangey deck. So many sweepers. So we just more or less want to go like over the top. And if we're going over the top, I could be wrong, but if we're transforming ourselves into a mid-range deck, then we just want all pretty much the late game stuff. So that being said, this is for blocking purposes, I would assume. I don't think we want all of these. I don't want to cut Borderland Rangers. I could see cutting one of those. Maybe a pillar or two. I don't think we need all these Devil's Plays. I don't need any of them, to be honest. Pillar seems necessary. He's got Strangle Root Geists and other stuff. Uh, grounds here. For each cards and graveyards can't be this hard to spell or ability. Okay, that's not going to negatively affect us at all. I feel like I have too many fives. Half of Nim might not be amazing. I think this is fine. I probably want this this over. I'll play three Blasphemous Axe. He's not big on creatures. You know what? I'll, I'll do this. Sorry, first time with the with the deck. Okay, I think I like this final configuration. If he didn't show me black, then I'd be okay. Uh, not bringing Tree of uh, Redemption, but Tree of Redemption can and will be good. But if he has just removal, like ultimate price then we're gonna have a, a little bit of an issue pause for uh, station identification okay so after a little bit of a week we're back I'm gonna keep this hand since we are the control deck in this matchup and we just more or less want to be able to ramp play a staff play a ground seal things of that nature that's totally fine with us we will uh, be the slower of the two decks in this matchup and see how it goes. If it goes to game three, which I always hope it doesn't, I would more or less like to be the aggressor. Oh, that's an awesome sign for us. That he is the mana screwed. We'll draw a card here. I would think a hand with uh, one land and two abundant growths is more than keepable. Okay, so he pays two. Dos muchachos. And we'll probably see Strangle Geist here. Okay, so he's going to be the beat down right now. Okay. And I mean, I think we could trade Strangle Geist, but I'd rather try to just go for a big game here. Fix up our mana base. Block. Make him have another guy. No, nobody cares. Plays a drag mangler. That's fine. Just jump out here. He plays another shrine root guys. Blood artist. Ooh, that's interesting. That's not the end of the world. I will kill it. Let him drain me here. That's fine. Okay, so he's got a bunch of triggers. He'll get a 3 2. We'll take 2. We'll be at 16. He's got six cards. We've got a Hunt Master, which looks like I'll be playing that instead. And just chumping with my wolf. Hunt Master of the non fails. Reason I'm playing that is because then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this, and then this alone might just take over the game. Unless he somehow, some way, 
was able to foresee that I brought in artifact removal or an artifact excuse me this might be a drag mangler no that's killing my hunt master I would assume we shall see okay that's fine I take one I take two I'm gonna trade here if he lets me totally okay with all of this as I'm gonna play a big one next turn it's been my new word I think it's because I've been watching like moonshiners too much but they don't say like a big in they just talk like all I guess you would say southern like hopefully that's not offending anybody but I think I think that's what it is talk with a southern accent so that that moonshiners man that's a good show check that out they're all very very fun characters all right so we're gonna be beating face shortly I would assume um, we'll play Wolf Run next turn. I really don't see a way we lose this game. I basically have to get like hit in the face with a hammer and then more or less um, the hammer will hit me in the face and then it will be like, oh, is that a hammer to the face? See, like... I don't see a reason to not go big here and just play this. I guess I could play it next turn, but why wouldn't I go big here? Tell me, why wouldn't I go big here? It would just be in such a commanding lead. I, I see, like, if I play this, I pick this off and I let him back in the game. There really doesn't, for me, like... Outside of him having removal, you know what? I think I'm, I think I'm gonna play the staff. I think the staff is enough. We're at 18. I'm gonna hit him for five. He might make his guy block, so I can't staff it. He hits me for two. At most, he throws like a rancor or drag mangler. Hits me for five. I hit a land. Hopefully, play this and this. If not, I just blow things up, draw an extra card. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. He's at three mana. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Staff's pretty dominant. I've got a staff of Nim. I'm a staff of Nim. Boom, boom, boom. That's not a word. This is not a song I'm singing to you. Boom, boom, boom. It's a staff of Nim. I don't think these come in. I don't know. Maybe they're not good. But the scavenge seems good. But they don't do much against else than that. What is this madness? A string root gust. Sure. And black source? Death right shaman. Alright, well, that's just a chumper right now. All right, so we're racing. Sure. Yes, I would like to draw a card. Yes, I'd like to draw land. Let's undo this. Play this. Play this. Do unfair things. Now the thing is, he's going to take 11 here. And if he can somehow hit me for 14, then God bless his soul. Because when he goes to combat, I'm going to shoot this thing. I think he's got a chump here. He can't do anything with this death right shaman. I don't know. I think he's got to just chump. Uh, I could be wrong. I mean, I can't block anything, but I will shoot this. Maybe I take it. I don't know. We'll see. I could put him in a 10. No matter what I'm trampling over, I might even play this. Could always shoot him down to 9, but that does not seem very good. 
Okay, it's a land. Maybe he's got a Thrag Tusk of his own. I might put him back in it. We will see. We shall see. I apologize, my commentary is a little bit off. I did a whole bunch of Gate Crash spoiler videos today, and my opponent is playing very slow. If you look at his clock, I got a whole six minutes almost on him. Five minutes or six minutes. So I'm filling a lot of dead air here, so I apologize. I'm going to pause so my throat can be saved for when I win. Okay, so he's played a land, to my knowledge, and is about to go to attack step. He must be on like such a slow computer. I don't think he's double tabling. I think he's just on a slow computer. I did take a while to sideboard, so maybe he's all about being uh, spiteful, etc., and making me wait. Or he'll make me wait good. Okay, so whenever blah 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 attacks, stuff's gonna happen. So he's attacking, I can't block it. Let's see if he has any steps that he wants to do. Uh, I don't even see a reason to shoot this. Maybe he has a lot of removal though. Now if I shoot that, he just trade. I'm going to take the four. Hopefully that wasn't a huge mistake taking four there. Because if I keep this back, he just trades. If not, I'm going to shoot him. I'll just poke him here. Okay, we'll put him in a 10. 10 apiece. It'll be our upkeep. We'll draw a card. Devil's Play seems good. Well, I think we send some boys to the red zone. Um, let's see. Well, these two getting through. I have to assume he's got removal spell here. But we should be able to Devil's Play for a whole bunch. These guys will come in. They'll knock down the door. Boom, 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 boom. He'll be like, oh no, I'm a lowly deathrite shaman. I'm so lowly and apparently Irish all of a sudden. Where is me lucky charms? Arr, 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 arr. I don't know why he's doing a Popeye, an Irish Popeye impersonation. Is he even winking? No, he's not eating spinach and he doesn't have strong forearms. What am I thinking? Okay, I will not buff anything. He will attempt to kill one of these, I assume. They both uh, are pretty good. Kill something. Prep decay. It's fine. That will make that less bound. Okay. Say okay, say okay, say okay. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to pair it here. Oh, this came into play. Duh. Okay, he's going to kill it again. He's all about these abrupt decays. He is just all about these abrupt decays. How many abrupt decays do you have in your deck? Sir, how many abrupt decays? Too many. How did you get all those abrupt decays through customs? Yay! Here, I'll use my voice. Well done, noob. We got a pack. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.